An unexpected shakeup in this year's legislative races after longtime state senator Steve Oraho on Monday made a surprise announcement that he'll retire from his seat just weeks after launching a re-election bid. Oraho cited recovering from a recent illness and a desire to spend more time with family as reasons for his decision. He joins his fellow representatives in the 24th District, Assemblyman Hal Wirtz and Parker Space, who also announced they'll retire at the end of their terms, setting up a crowded field of candidates for the seat. Senior political correspondent David Cruz reports. I like to take a walk and go get a beer sometimes too, you know. Steve Araho's humble cool is going to be missed. That's the general consensus after the Senate minority leader said he was calling it quits after 22 years in the legislature. The 24th district where he's been senator since 2008 is up here in the solidly red northwest part of the state. There are almost twice as many Republicans in that district as Democrats. It is one of the whitest, least diverse districts in the state. Or perfect for conservative Assemblyman Parker Space, who cut his retirement short and announced that he'll run for Araho's seat this year in what is promising to be a freewheeling election season, especially for the GOP. You could have four retirements and turnovers on the in the Republican Senate caucus itself. That's big turnover, and you're right. To the extent that the turnover was focused, focused in one party, that's going to mean that those primaries are going to occur in one party. Space would seem to have a clear path to the nomination in the district where he served in the Assembly for a decade. He says he's compelled to serve in the upper chamber, and the people here know him. This is me and my, my Space Farms outfit. And... Uh, Boy, he said, you know, people want somebody like them to represent them. And they look at me, they see, you know, I'm out mowing hay in the summertime and picking up roadkill deer alongside the road. And they're like, hey, he's a working guy, just like I'm a working guy or a working woman trying to support my family. You know, he gets it. But frequent candidate and former Bogota mayor Steve Lonigan may also feel compelled to serve, setting up what would be a battle of two quite conservative conservatives. And really funky things can happen when one candidate is trying to outdo the other candidate to out conservative and outrun to the right. And, um, you know, I think if you're the party and the party may not be in this position, but I think if you're the party, you want to avoid that because you want a candidate to come out of the prime who's viable going into the general election. And that could be a problem in the GOP where the energy, at least, if not the votes yet, has been with insurgents, and they're coming from the fringe of the party, making things tough sometimes for party leaders. Just ask GOP Chair Bob Hugan. I really do agree with you. I think we got to do something about the primaries where we have so few people vote, and therefore extreme people on one side or the other, or one, one issue people that don't really have the opportunity to govern effectively to make our state better, get elected, and then therefore they got to represent that constituency that got them elected in the and they're going to, even, in the, even during normal governing legislative hearings and meetings, they're going to say things that are crazy. In a state where crazy can sometimes swing elections. All the more reason for you to pay closer attention. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.